It was debut day for Celtic's new signing, ex-Aberdeen man Willie Falconer, bought from Sheffield United for £350,000. And his new side almost took an early lead. John Collins with the shot, Hearts keeper Henry Smith with a good save. But at the other end, Celtic survived a real scare. Tosh McKinley's cross and a great header by Mo Johnson, which came back off the post, giving keeper Carol Muggleton an anxious moment, to say the least. Then Charlie Nicholas felt aggrieved when he tumbled inside the box in a challenge with Alan McLaren. He went down, but no penalty, said referee Tate. Nicholas, not happy about that decision. Then Hearts came close to going in front. Johnston did well on the left. He found Wayne Foster, who set up Gary Mackay, but his shot was deflected wide. Hearts kept up the pressure. Foster and McKinley combined. Mowbray cleared only to Leach, and his strike wasn't far away. Pat McGinley then tried to drive his way forward into a shooting position. He was forced to cut it back to Faulkner, whose left foot strike was deflected wide. But McGinley landed in trouble soon after that. Tom Boyd crossed. But as McGinley fell, he punched the ball into the net. Clearly, no goal. And it all ended in a booking for the Celtic man. But Hearts again came close as half-time approached. From McLaren's free kick, Johnson's header was well saved by Muggleton. And just when it looked like the first half would finish goalless, Celtic went ahead. Collins' corner went all the way through to Nicholas, and he hammered it past Smith. Into the second half, and Hearts pressed for the equaliser. Wayne Foster lined up a shot, but he was off target. Then Paul Byrne showed some great skill. He got past McKinley, and then Mackay. And when he received McGinley's return pass, Smith saved his left foot strike. Then an agonising moment for Hearts. Leach tried to get through. And in a split second, Foster, Leach and then Robertson all tried to put the ball past Muggleton. After that, Celtic proceeded to kill the game off as a contest. McGinley powering forward on the left. He squared for Nicholas and he promptly wrapped it all up. How he and Pat McGinley enjoyed this moment. This Celtic's first win of 94. I'm glad the Chinese are celebrating so we it was good for us I think our supporters have waited quite a while for it and so have the players and we've been grafting hard without getting any real success and I think we, we were disappointing last week at Wraith and it was nice to get back a victory but we played quite well today especially second half 